Hey guys, welcome to Zelda Dungeon. This is Zelda News Update. I'm your host, Bastion, and we just had an interesting bombshell dropped on us from Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Inuma himself. There were the Video Game Awards last night. Well, not really, but they pre-taped a video probably back in Japan, that then played during the Video Game Awards, presented by Mr. Reggie fils the Nintendo of America uh, president. And in this video, Mr. Miyamoto and Mr. Numa were playing Zelda Wii U. And so we finally got to see some actual gameplay in real time. And oh my gosh, we learned so much about it, it's going to be mind-blowing. The first interesting thing that caught my eye was the fact that the Sailcloth uh, from Skyward Sword makes a return, and it's very important in this game, instead of using it to dive from a sky loft area down to the surface, uh, there are many, many tall peaks in this massive landscape, and you can go up to these tall peaks, and then you can jump from them and sort of navigate to various areas using the Sailcloth. It doesn't uh, reduce your magic meter. Yes, the magic meter has returned, or so it looks. Um, so it doesn't reduce your magic meter, so that's good. With this, you'll be able to sort of traverse uh, the vast landscape that is this new land. Also, while you're up on these tall peaks, uh, and they said they included many of them to enable this possibility, you'll be able to see a good view of the whole landscape. Well, not the whole landscape, but the area that you're in. And then you'll be able to, on your map, create beacons. Uh, so you'll be able to see, oh, over at that far side is something that looks interesting or suspicious. So you'll be able to, on your map, place a beacon over there, and then that will help you navigate to that area more efficiently. Another fascinating thing that's been included is Epona herself, or at least it's a horse, but Mr. Miyamoto specifically calls her Epona, so... I think it's Epona, um, but it, it, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, what the name of your steed is. The point is, you can ride a horse again, and that's amazing. And uh, what is also really cool about it is they've completely redesigned how riding the horse works, different from Ocarina of Time, different from uh, Twilight Princess. In this, um, much like when riding a real horse, they point out, the horse, you don't have to navigate around trees. Horses are not going to just run into a tree. Uh, they will avoid a tree. <laughs> They're not robots. Uh, so as you're riding the horse, um, you don't really have to pay much attention to the terrain. The horse will take care of all of that. So you plot the initial direction, the horse will continue in that direction, and then your hands free and uh, you can use your hands then for attacking enemies because uh, arrow firing while on horseback is going to be a major point of this game it looks like and so much so that they've included some interesting gameplay mechanics wherein you can leap off of the horse's back and then in like a matrix style slow-mo sort of thing time kind of freezes and you can adjust the camera in this frozen time sort of situation. You can adjust the camera at will and then aim your arrow. And uh, so I think it really is meant to play up the fact that Link is an amazing archer. So he has this ability during this tiny period of time of leaping off the horse's back. Because he's so skilled, he can then adjust his arrow aiming correctly, which thank goodness because I'm still terrible after all of these Zelda games at aiming arrows of enemies. As they were passing by some trees, Mr. Miyamoto said, hey, wait a minute, I thought I saw apples on these trees uh, earlier. And Anuma said, yes, in fact, what happens is you'll be able to, just any tree that grows apples, you'll just be able to go and pluck some apples and eat them. And I assume that will restore some hearts, so that will be awesome. And that about covers everything that we learned from this particular video. If you want to hear my own rambly opinions as far as what we just saw, uh, you can check out my own video about it over here, and I'll see you guys next time we have more breaking news about Zelda U. Bye, guys.